Good morning, Asia. Hello, privateers. Hope everyone had a nice weekend. Here we are back in the saddle. Sunday night, my time. Monday morning, yours. Big news over the weekend. Uh, not that it seems to really be affecting the British pound, is uh, just in the past couple hours, uh, UK Brexit ministers quit in protest, throwing Theresa May into crisis. David Davies, who is the Brexit secretary, and his deputy Steve Baker resigned on Sunday in a double blow to May's negotiating strategy and, and her grip on, on power. Um, you know, this all came after, you can see here on the daily, like we, we did gap open higher um, from the weekend because there were some positive developments late Friday. Um, you know, we closed here at uh, 3280 and it opened up at 13310. <coughs> Went up to 13328 was a high. And <coughs> um, the fix just came out. No, uh, no drama there. Anyhow, um, so the the resignations of Davis and, and, and Baker and another Brexit uh, s you know, assistant, um, it came just a couple days after the Premier May secured the backing of her cabinet for a plan to keep close ties with the European Union after leaving the bloc, so post-Brexit. Um, Davis and Baker are both long standing Eurosceptics and they decided they couldn't support this policy so they they walked out today and uh, the British pound has not reacted much it's come off about 20 or 30 points from the highs um, we think it's bearish mainly for cable um, it, just because it adds this another layer of uncertainty and with the Bank of England, which it's uh, pretty heavily priced in um, for the next rate hike, which let me just double check the date on that. Um, the next uh, rate meeting uh, is going to be August 2nd, and it's about an 80% probability that they're going to hike rates. So I guess the way that we're kind of looking at it, we, we did sell some cable on this news tonight is the uh it might throw a wrench into the bank of england's plans to hike rates in august if they if the political uncertainty re remains heightened so something to keep an eye on um you know i'm sure you're all caught up on some of this news over the past couple hours but uh it, we certainly don't think it's uh, necessarily a good thing for for british pound and, and its crosses uh, as far as data goes, um, we don't have anything really out in Asia, uh, aside from the foreign reserve number coming out of China, and there's no set time for that, but uh, that's expected to be a bit lower. Uh, we do believe that the uh, central bank has been selling some of their dollar reserves to keep, uh, to keep this dollar China um, move under control and you can see we've had this here's dollar china daily we had this massive up move very parabolic looking and then uh some verbal inter intervention up here around 670 so now things are, are kind of going sideways so we'll, we'll keep an eye on this number it could have an impact on if they are dr drawing down too much of it on the reserves it could have an impact on uh on the cnh and uh things like australian dollar New Zealand dollar. Um, European data of note, uh, nothing really. Uh, you know, looks like a quiet summer Monday. We've got the World Cup matches, the semifinals on Tuesday and Wednesday. We expect the market to be kind of quiet these next few days. Um, you know, we definitely have some. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar here and see what we got coming out of the U.S. Uh, to me, you know, I guess the most important thing is probably the CPI data. 
coming out on the, uh, it's not till Thursday, so pretty quiet start to the week, data, data wise. And um, we're just keeping our powder dry. This is, uh, we maintain our kind of agnostic view on the dollar and, uh, and risk for that matter. And, you know, there are a few opportunities here and there. But the liquidity is still at a pretty major premium, and it makes it very difficult for any real fall through. So keep powder, powder dry, tin hat on, and uh, you'll hear from us on the European Open. All the best. Good luck. Cheers.